Hi, I'm Daniel Weisberg. Hi, I'm Cherry from Marwin. In this video, we'll talk about Search Console. And Google Analytics, Daniel. Of course, I'm particularly excited about making sense out of the data coming from both tools. I spent so many years as part of the Google Analytics team that it's great to go back to it and geek out about charts and dashboards. You spent time with Analytics too, didn't you? Yeah, quite a while ago, but I'm super excited to be talking about it today because we got a lot of questions around Google Analytics from SEOs and site owners who use Google Analytics along with Search Console. It's not always clear what all the data means and how to use them together. We have so much to share that we had to split the content into two videos. In this first one, we'll provide an overview of each tool, and then we'll discuss the differences between Search Console and Google Analytics. In the next video, to help you optimize your effort on search, we have a cool dashboard waiting for you. So make sure to check that out. Google Search Console is a tool that can help you monitor, optimize, and troubleshoot your site's presence in Google Search results. Among other features, it gives you information about the traffic you're getting from search. For example, how many times your website shows up in search results? How many times people then click to visit your site from search? Which search terms bring people to your website and more? In short, Search Console gives you data on how your website does on Google Search, but it doesn't show you data about what your users do once they arrive at your website. For that, we have Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a tool that provides data about visitors' interactions with your website. It measures user behavior, such as which pages they visit, how long they stay, and what actions they take, helping you understand your audience better. It also shows you data about where your audience is coming from, which can help you measure the effectiveness of your traffic channels, like email, referrals from other websites or social platforms, paid search, and organic search. To summarize, Search Console is about what happens before users visit your site when coming from Google Search, while Google Analytics is about what happens after users land on your website, no matter where they're coming from. Before we dive into the differences, let's talk about what data you can actually compare between these tools. The main intersection between Search Console and Google Analytics is the performance data of Google Organic Search. The primary reason you would want to compare this data is to attribute conversions, such as e-commerce transactions or online registrations to Google search traffic. Now, we are going to talk about how to view organic search data in Google Analytics. However, remember that source of truth about Google Organic Search is always Search Console. First of all, you can connect Search Console to Google Analytics. This functionality makes a few Search Console reports available inside Google Analytics. So if you're looking for a quick way to access the queries and landing pages that drove Google Organic Search traffic to your website, that can be a good option for you. Check the links in the description to learn more. But even if you don't connect the tools, you can still find a lot of relevant information inside Google Analytics. Start by navigating to the Traffic Acquisition Report in Google Analytics. If you don't know how, check the links in the description to learn more. Here, you see a line chart showing sessions by default channel group over time. In the table, you can drill down to Session Source. This shows you how many sessions originated from the channel Organic Search and the source Google. You can use this to understand more about your Google Search traffic. For example, which actions people took on your website, and if eventually they made a purchase or subscribed to your content. Another way to analyze Google organic traffic is to use the landing page report with a feature to include only sessions from source Google and medium organic. This will give you an idea of how useful the page is to your organic traffic, and also how well the page does in terms of driving engagement and conversions on your website. 
There are lots of synergy between Search Console and Analytics, but when you try to compare their data, you will realize that they don't use the same metrics. While Search Console reports on clicks, impressions, and positions, Google Analytics report on sessions, events, and users. I know this may be confusing. Hold on, let me explain more. An impression is when a link to your site shows up on Google Search. And position is where the link appears in the search result page. These two metrics are exclusive to Search Console because they are specific to search. On the other hand, users and events refer to the user behavior on your website, not on search. That's why they are exclusive to Google Analytics. So the only metrics you might try to compare are clicks and sessions. On Search Console, click is counted when a person clicks on a link in your Google search results and leaves Google to go to your website. A Google Analytics session is defined as a group of user interactions with your website or app. As you can see, click and sessions are not exactly the same, which means that when you compare the data, you will most likely see discrepancy. Let's take a closer look at some of the main reasons for these differences between the data available in each tool. Google Analytics is a tool that enables you to collect behavioral data by implementing a tag on your website or app. So it depends on what and how you implement it. To learn more about setting up Google Analytics for your website, check the links in the description. On the other hand, Search Console is a tool that gives you access to Google search data, which is processed by Google for all properties uniformly. This means that the way you configure your settings will have less impact on the data. If you have tried to compare the tools in the past, you might have noticed that the numbers don't always match. If the difference is small, you can ignore the discrepancies. Since the systems are different, that's expected. If the difference is considerable, you should look further into one of the following reasons. Starting with Google Analytics. If your site is asking users to accept tracking and users opt out, that can skew Google Analytics data. There are implementation and configuration issues that can affect your data quality in Google Analytics. For example, there could be pages on your website where the Analytics tag is missing, which could create discrepancies in the data. You can choose your time zone in Google Analytics, but you can't customize that in Search Console. There are three attribution models available to you in Google Analytics, while Search Console counts every click on Google Search. As for Search Console, it reports only on the Google Search canonical URL. Google Analytics reports on any URL that includes a tracking code. Search Console breaks down the traffic by web, image, video, news, and discover. These category breakdowns are different in Google Analytics. Non-HTML pages are included by default in Search Console if they're shown or clicked on search, while Google Analytics may not be configured to measure them. And Google Analytics excludes traffic from known bots and spiders automatically, while Search Console doesn't necessarily filter them out. These are some of the reasons, and many of them cannot be effectively debugged. But knowing of them will help you make reasonable inferences based on your website specifics. Check the links in the description to learn more. While there might be differences between the data, both tools are very valuable to provide a holistic view of your website performance. Each tool is powerful on its own and offers information that the other one doesn't. So it's useful to use both of them. If you choose to compare the data that each offers, you can use the Google Analytics Traffic Acquisition Report to understand how Google Search traffic performs. And you can use the Landing Pages Report to evaluate which page is bringing you Google Search traffic. Also, in the next video, we can't wait to show you a dashboard that we specially created for you to view your own data from both Google Analytics and Search Console in one place. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be the first one to watch the videos. Stay tuned.